in the next five minutes, I am going to read your mind. I'm going to show you exactly how you make yourself feel, feel bad, comparing yourself to others, and how to stop that. I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the From Meh to Ya podcast. Every Monday, we profile someone who's created a life of, oh, yeah, so that we can understand what they did to do that and learn from them. And midweek, right now, I'm doing a five-minute nugget on a powerful approach to bring a whole lot more yeah into your life. And what we're going to do today is get into how you make yourself feel bad. And this is pretty much across the board. I, it doesn't matter how much experience, confidence, et cetera, you have. I've coached executives of, of uh, some of the largest corporations. It's there all the time. I think I've met two people who uh, do not do this. So let me ask you, to get to this, I'm, I'm going to explain something. This circle... Is that a big circle or a small circle? What do you think? The answer, of course, is it depends. If I draw another circle over here, a little blue circle right there, is the pink circle now a big circle or a small circle? Well, of course, it is a small circle, or it's a big circle compared to the, the blue dot. Now, if I make a blue circle like this and ask you, is the pink circle small or large? What do you say? It's small compared to the blue circle. The thing is, nothing is large or small, good or bad, big what, or, or insignificant, unless you compare it to something else. And what we as human beings tend to do is we compare ourselves with other people who are really good at one thing, one thing that are much better than us. We ignore everything else that they do where we may actually be better. And I'm not suggesting we compare ourselves with others we, the, to, to, to put them down. But they, what we do is we look at the one thing they do that's way better than us. And we focus on that and we ignore everything else that they do. That, uh, that we may be better at or the same, okay? And then we look at someone else who's really good at something else. This first person may, may suck at that, but we don't care. We look at somebody else who does it way better than us, and then we can feel bad about that, and we ignore everything else about them, where even where we may do things better, and so on. So let's say this. Let's call this, uh, let's call this Bob. And let's say Bob... The big circle is about, the big blue circle is about how comfortable he is around people, okay? And we go, oh my gosh, Bob's so much more charismatic, so much better than me. Now, Bob may be an idiot, he may, he may be ignorant, he may be, uh, you know, whatever else, but all we look at is how comfortable he is. Then, there's someone else. Let's call this Chris. And Chris is, my God, is Chris in shape. Oh, I feel so bad and so miserable because I am nowhere near in as good shape as Chris. Uh, you know, Bob may have a beer belly, but I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at this. How good is he around people? And then we look at someone else. Oh, let's, let, let's look at uh, Kay. And Kay is so smart. My God, is, is Kay smart? I feel so stupid next to Kay. And we ignore everything else about those people where we may match them, where we may excel. Does this make sense, folks? Or am I just way out there? Do you realize how much work it takes to focus on that one thing that everyone does better than you and totally ignore everything else? I mean, good God, that's exhausting. The amount of files, file work and, and thinking your brain has to do to do that. I mean, stop it. Seriously. This is, a, this is so exhausting. So how do you stop this? Simple. When you catch yourself, and tell me, have you, have you or have you not caught yourself comparing to someone, yourself to someone else who is, oh, my God, they're so smart, they're so good looking, they're so this, something else, and you look at that one thing. Have you or have you not? Click, click off some of your, uh, your um, 
your thumbs up or your, or your hearts. Yes or no? Yes, if you've done that, right? You compare yourself to others, correct? Now, when you catch yourself doing that, st stop and say, okay, let's look at everything else they do. Let's look at everything I do. Do they do everything better than me? Let's go through it all and let's be proper and scientific about it. This is the law of relativity. Let's, let's flip it on its, its edge and say, what do they do better than me? What am I just as good at? What am I even better at that they wish they could do? Okay. It's about building and trying to, instead of just trying to pick what is not working and make yourself feel meh, why don't you take the time and say, okay, yes, they're better at that than, than I am. Where do I want to be? Now, where, are, where, am I, where am I actually doing really well? And let's feel good about that and celebrate that. If you are seriously going to compare yourself, which I don't recommend, then be fair about it. With each person, go through all the different characteristics. And, and are you really being fair or are you just beating yourself up because you don't need to? I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is your From Meh to Yeah podcast. To get it, uh, ev the full podcast and the full interviews every week delivered right to you, sign up for my podcast on uh, at ravitangri.com. That's R-A-V-I-T-A-N-G-R-I.com. And just scroll down a little bit, and you can either get it through my blog or through iTunes, Google Play, wherever you would like to get it. Have a great one, and we will talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.